First Samuel, chapter 6. And the ark of Yahweh is in the field of the Philistines for seven months. And the Philistines call for priests and for diviners, saying, What do we do to the ark of Yahweh? Let us know with what we send it to its place. And they say, If you are sending the ark of the God of Israel away, you do not send it away empty, for you certainly send back a guilt offering to him. Then you are healed, and it has been known to you why his hand does not turn aside from you. And they say, What is the guilt offering which we send back to him? And they say, The number of the princes of the Philistines, five golden lumps and five golden moroids, for one plague is to you all and to your princes. And you have made images of your lumps and images of your moroids that are corrupting the land and have given glory to the God of Israel. It may be that he lightens his hand from off you and from off your gods and from off your land. And why do you harden your heart as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their heart? Do they not, when he has rolled himself on them, send them away and they go? And now take and make one new cart and two suckling cows on which a yoke has not gone up, and you have bound the cows in the cart and caused their young ones to turn back from after them to the house. And you have taken the ark of Yahweh and put it on the cart, and the vessels of gold which you have returned to him, a guilt offering, you put in a coffer on its side and have sent it away, and it has gone. And you have seen, if it goes up the way of its own border to Beth Shemesh, he has done this great evil to us. And if not, then we have known that his hand has not come against us. It has been an accident to us. And the men do so, and take two suckling cows, and bind them in the cart, and they shut up their young ones in the house. And they place the ark of Yahweh on the cart, and the coffer, and the golden moroids, in the images of their lumps. And the cows go straight in the way, on the way to Beth Shemesh. They have gone in one highway, going and lowing, and have not turned aside right or left. And the princes of the Philistines are going after them to the border of Beth Shemesh. And the Beth Shemeshites are reaping their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lift up their eyes and see the ark, and rejoice to see it. And the ark has come into the field of Joshua, the Beth Shemeshite, and stands there, and there is a great stone, and they cleave the wood of the cart, and they have caused the cows to ascend as a burnt offering to Yahweh. And the Levites have taken down the ark of Yahweh, and the coffer which is in it, in which are the vessels of gold, and placed them on the great stone. And the men of Beth Shemesh have caused burnt offerings to ascend, and sacrifice sacrifices in that day to Yahweh. And the five princes of the Philistines have seen it, and returned to Ekron on that day. And these are the golden lumps which the Philistines have sent back, a guilt offering to Yahweh, one for Ashdod, one for Gaza, one for Ashkelon, one for Gath, one for Ekron. And the golden moroids, the number of all the cities of the Philistines for the five princes, from the fortified city even to a village of the open place, and to the great stone on which they place the ark of Yahweh, are in the fields of Joshua, the Beshemeshite, to this day. And he strikes among the men of Beth Shemesh, for they looked into the ark of Yahweh. Indeed, he strikes seventy men out of fifty thousand men among the people. And the people mourn, because Yahweh struck among the people with a great striking. And the men of Beth Shemesh say, Who is able to stand before Yahweh, this holy God? And to whom does he go up from us? And they send messengers to the inhabitants of Kirjath Jerem, saying, the Philistines have sent back the Ark of Yahweh. Come down, take it up with you.